In a different video, we were looking at commands related to DNS, and one of those was ipconfig, and then a space forward slash display DNS. And here I have several uh, records here related to DNS. Now these are all on uh, Wikimedia because uh, I'm, they're actually coming from the wikipedia.org uh, website, and so uh, you can see that I was on Wikipedia, and that's why those records exist in here. Um, so let's take a look at what some of these are, because we have looked at these before. We've looked at uh, some fully qualified domain name and the IP address, so that if I call for this name, my computer knows, oh, that means 198.35.26.96. We have looked at the time to live. That's how long this record will last before it times out. It's going to last 53 seconds, and that's going to disappear. We have not looked at this, the record type. And you see a 1 here and a 5 here, and there are several other types as well. Now, where you see the 1s, you may notice that there is a fully qualified domain name, and then there is an IP address. These, if we go back to that Wikipedia article, you can see that a type 1 is what we call an A record. That's an address record. So this is just a standard address record. This returns a, an IP version 4 address for a fully qualified domain name. The fives that you saw, if we go down here, you see that the five stands for C name and it is an alias for another name and that's all that they are let's take a look at this again let's go to five and you'll see that if i go to en.wikipedia.org it's actually going to look that up and say okay well what i really mean is dina.wikimedia.org and here you can see why this change happened i'm on the en.wikipedia.org en.wikipedia.org and behind the scenes my dns cache is telling me that's really dyna.wikimedia.org, and that's why all these are Wikimedia. And then it can go on and look up Wikimedia, which it did. Now, this was a, a five canonical name, so this is a canonical name for this. And then this, once it's resolved from this name, then it can give me the IP address with a type 1 record. So they're simply nicknames for a more complex name. This is the one that actually converted it from Wikipedia to Wikimedia. All right, the next one that we might want to look at, and let's go back here, is the type 28. You'll need to know about the AAA record. The AAA record is an IP version 6 record. Now, I have IP version 6 turned off on my computer. Uh, normally, I have it on, but during one of the demonstrations earlier, I didn't want IP version 6 to get in our way and so I turned it off temporarily. Uh, but these are records that change a fully qualified uh, domain name to a, an IP version 6 address. Some others that you need to know about, let's go down here and look at them. Uh, MX, you need to know about MXs. These are mail exchange records. These send a, a, an email address to or an email domain to the correct um, email server so that the IP address of an email server so that your email can get through. NS records are name server records. What these are are IP addresses of DNS servers so that your computer can find the IP address of a DNS server. Pointer records are reverse lookup records. These are the ones that if you put in an IP address, it can find the name. So these are reverse lookup pointer records. Uh, SOA records, start of authority records. These don't relate anything to anything. <laughs> they are simply information about a DNS zone. Uh, some uh, administrative information so that that uh, computer knows that it knows everything it needs to know to be authoritative over a set of names. Let's see if there are any others. Now, it looks like those are all uh, that I have right now that are important for the um, 
at least the MTA level of knowledge about DNS records.